guys, welcome back to Coffee Date Thursday. Today we are talking about our top five must-haves for back to school. And on my list, my top five are not going to be found on any type of school supply list. These are the ones that are kind of off-kilter that you might not think about necessarily, especially if you're new to putting kids in school. So my first number one is a reusable water bottle. The reason I send my child to school with a water bottle is because I feel that they do not get enough breaks to get drinks or even use the bathroom sometime. And even between class, you'd think, oh, they can stop and use a water fountain. Well, if the classrooms are not close to the water fountain and if they only have a certain amount of time between class to get from point A to point B, chances are they're not making it there. So I always send a water bottle that way in class if they are thirsty, they can drink straight from the bottle, they don't have to ask to be excused, and it makes things much, much easier. Now I know some schools don't like them bringing things like that, and we did have an issue um, with her wanting to bring a water bottle at first where teachers were saying no, and I just kind of thought that was ridiculous. So I got a note from our pediatrician that says that she's allowed to have a water bottle while she's in school because she needs to drink. So, um, kind of crazy that you have to go that far to allow your kids to stay hydrated, but whatever. The next thing is a lunch kit. And I'm going to insert a picture in because I didn't get mine together. I really don't have anything together to actually show you. I don't like sending my kid with a bunch of little tiny containers or plastic bags. I try not to use a whole bunch of plastic bags because it's kind of a waste to me. So I have a, um, it's just like a square lunch kit that is actually expandable. So it collapses down to store. So you can put your sandwich in the bottom and then up top there are separate little containers where you can put um, fruits or veggies or yogurt, whatever it is that you want to use. I think those are great and you're saving money because you're not buying a bunch of Ziploc bags. The next thing, which is kind of on a supply list, is a notebook. But I'm not talking about the like single um, subject, like 10 cent notebooks that you can find. I used to buy those and they were great for when Devin was like in kindergarten and first and second grade. But now that she's older and they're doing a lot more writing and note taking and they have so many more papers, I find it much easier to get one of these things and I know Five Star sells them. This is a three subject notebook, but it has these built in folders. So for each subject, like say this is math, she can put all her math papers in here, and then she has access to her notes. And she's carrying less with her. And the nice thing about these is they are actually removable to where you can move them around to where you need them in this notebook. Now I know some people are gonna say, well, why don't you just get a cheap notebook and fold her separately? I find that it is so much easier for kids to stay organized when it's all in one place. No more, oh, I left my folder at home when she comes home and she doesn't have her math paper. It's all here. It stays in her book bag. There's no having to switch them out in her desk. She has multiple subjects in here. It's just so much easier for her to have everything in one place rather than having like a stack of, you know, five notebooks and then five folders and then trying to figure out which one's which. This is so much simpler. Especially when you have kids who are sometimes a little scatterbrained or not paying attention. So, love this. And honestly, it didn't cost that much. I think it was like $3.50. So when you break that down, three subjects, that's like a little over a dollar a subject for the notebook and a folder. Not bad in my opinion. The next thing that I have is a personal care kit for their locker. Now if your child doesn't have a locker, then maybe they can have a small bag that they keep in their book bag. 
but we do we're at the point where she has a locker so I send an extra change of clothes because you never know what's going to happen there might be a rainstorm or someone spills something on her or whatever she has an extra change of clothes and gym shoes to keep at school so we don't have to worry about that and then we have like a little care bag where we send things like uh, an extra stick of deodorant because you never know if you forget to put it on in the morning or if you're out uh, at recess and you're playing extra hard and you need to refresh um, a hairbrush extra hair ties um, if your child has hit that time you know you might need to send them with feminine care products um, and then an extra snack I know many schools say don't keep food in your locker completely understand um, but having like an extra granola bar or or even money a couple bucks in that bag in case they forget their lunch at home or if they're having an extra hungry day they have something that they can turn to so they're not sitting at school suffering and then my last one <laughs> is going to probably sound crazy to some of you but it is anti-lice shampoo <laughs> um, I am terrified of lice <laughs> and it never fails every year usually at the beginning of the year you get the letters or the emails that are sent home and it's like we found lice in this classroom or in this grade so just take precautions and remind your children not to share hats and blah 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 yes we know that but they're kids and they don't remember they don't listen they don't understand until it happens to them and when I was a kid, my hair has thinned since I was young, but my hair was thick and long. And I was one of the kids that got it when I was little. And I still remember the horror of going through the whole process of delicing. It was horrendous. The stuff that you had to put on your scalp and sit on there um, the hours and hours and hours of having your hair combed through yeah so I take preventative measures wherever I can and I have come up <laughs> with an anti-lice shampoo formula that I use and it's really just essential oils and you don't have to make your own shampoo or anything you can add the oils straight to your shampoo bottle so I use tea tree oil and rosemary oil and I add it to, well I add it to all of our shampoo except for Grace and Victoria. But my husband's, mine, and Devin's, I add that to our shampoo. And we have not had an issue, uh, knock on wood, <laughs> with lice ever. Uh, Devin actually went away to Girl Scout camp. Um, this last month and it wasn't actually a Girl Scout camp she went with Girl Scouts but um, they all slept in close quarters and they went horseback riding and they all had like the caps on and everything and a lot of the girls came back with lice my daughter was not one of them I don't know if she just got lucky or if my shampoo plays into that but she, uh, this girl's hair is thick, let me tell you. And I know a lot of people say, oh yeah, we have thick hair. No, this girl has a lot of hair. A lot. If she would have ended up getting lice, I don't even know what I would have done. <laughs> um, but yeah, my anti-lice shampoo is on my must-haves for going back to school. A couple other things I'm just going to mention really quick that have to do with oils. I do send like roller balls or use roller balls for my kids and if you don't know what that is it's just like a like a little bottle that has a roller end on it and you can like kind of like a perfume roller but I use one for like an immune booster and also I have one for focusing which I would actually consider um, essential too because it kind of just helps helps it kind of just helps to calm and balance 
so that they can pay attention to what's going on around them. And I guess, you know, I'll do a video on how to make that if anybody's interested. So that is my top essentials for back to school. And I think my only other tip, just from experience, is don't go buying anything expensive. You know, forget buying those super expensive pens that might be really cute because it's probably going to get lost or taken. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, I will talk to you again next time. Bye.